this is Victoria Cherie, and I just wanted to say welcome. Um, I actually got a lot of requests for this video. Um, first off, I just got a Cricut Maker. It was gifted to me. I won a contest, and everyone knows that I love my Silhouette Cameo. And one of the things that I realized is that you're not able to do large print and cuts using the Cricut. Well, it's not easy. I found a little hack or trick to get around it because usually to do something really big, you'd have to splice it and then put it back together and line it up. And I'm not good at that. So if you're looking to do large printing cuts, um, 12 by 24, 12 by 12, 11 by 17, 12 by 18, the Silhouette Cameo is amazing for that. However, if you have a Cricut Maker or a Cricut Air or Explorer, um, you can still do it, but you will need Photoshop. So let's get right into it. First things first, it is not that hard. As soon as you see how easy it is, um, again, not easier than the silhouette, but still pretty easy. So um, first you will need Photoshop. I'll have a link in, this, in the description if you don't have Photoshop. Um, you can get it for about $9.99 a month, but it is so worth it. So we're gonna go to, once we have it open, we're gonna go to Create New. right and then um, the key thing is whatever size cardstock you're printing on whether it's 11 by 17 12 by 12 12 by 18 12 by 24 whatever it is the main thing you want to do is make it half an inch smaller on each side so I'm going to change pixels to inches make sure that resolution is 300 and I'm gonna give you an example. So let's say you want to print on a 12 by 24 cardstock. You wanna make it a half of an inch smaller on each side. So a 12 by 24 would then be 11.5 by 23.5. Okay, if you're doing a 12 by 18, it's gonna be an 11.5 by 17.5 all right 12 by 12 11.5 by okay 11.5 so we're getting the hang of it so i'm going to do an 11 by 17 because that's the card stock that i have here at the house so that's going to be a 10.5 by 16.5 so again the key is to make everything half an inch smaller on each side have my resolution set at 300 I'm going to change my background contents to black. Everything else is good. And then I'm going to hit create. Now, the trick is to get registration marks. How do we get registration marks? Listen, it is so easy. All you have to do is create squares at each corner. What kind of squares? You need a 0.25 inch white square that's it 0.25 inch white squares at each corner so I'm just going to go to my rectangle tool um, make sure the feel is white it's already set to white go to the width I'm going to put 0.25 tab that over 0.25 hit enter just click somewhere it's already set for me 0.25 0.25 hit OK. Now, um, before I go any further, I want to make sure that I have some guidelines because another key thing is you want things centered. So at the top, I have it set to percent, it's set to percent on the side. So before I even move that white square, I'm going to get some guidelines. So I'm just going to drag over till I get to 50% and then drag down till I get to 50%. Because for this to work, everything has to be centered. Now that square that I made, I'm just going to move that over into the left, top left corner. Okay. Top left corner, perfect. Now I'm just going to copy and paste until all of my corners are filled with those white squares. So what I'm going to do to make sure nothing moves, I'm going to select all of those rectangles. And then I'm going to go to Layer and merge shapes so all of my shapes are together I want to change the name to registration marks just so I know what those are 
Now, if you don't feel comfortable making small squares, um, I will have templates available for sale in my Etsy shop, creativebossacademy.etsy.com. I'll put the link in the description. I'll have it for different sizes so you don't have to keep redoing it. But again, all you have to do is create a document that's half an inch, half an inch smaller than what you want to print on and then create squares to go in each corner that's 0.25 inches. Okay, everybody with me? Okay, awesome. Now what we're gonna do is bring in the design that we want to print then cut. Because for this to work, you're gonna print before you take anything into the Cricut design space. So I'm just gonna find some clip art. I'll just do this. Okay, pull that out. Okay, and now we're just going to enlarge it until we get to the size that we want. Okay, so I'm just going to drag the corners. I'm going to hold down shift while I drag so everything can stay proportional. Okay, now I'm going to make sure I bring that in the center. Why do I want that in the center? Because it is what you need to do for this to work. Everything has to be centered. Now, let me make sure I specify this because when you're doing this as a print and cut, this isn't to do a print and cut of precise images where you want to cut right at the edge. This is more for if you're doing characters and you're going to have an offset um, because you have a little wiggle room. I want to make that a little bit bigger still. Okay, and then I want to take those crosshairs and make sure it's centered. I know it's centered when I have the um, purple showing so make sure it's centered perfect I'm gonna hit enter just to place it okay next I need to do an offset um, for where the cut is going to cut at now some people they do a copy and paste and change and offset I'm not doing all that we want to keep it simple I'm going to add a white stroke <laughs> that's all I'm doing so I'm going to click down here at the bottom where it says FX for effects and then I'm going to click stroke Okay, so my stroke is already set. My position, I position it. Um, it might start off in the center, but you want to make sure you position it on the outside. Opacity is 100. Color is going to be white. And then the size. Um, you don't want to make it too small. Um, you want to keep it kind of big. And I don't want any cuts on the inside by her hair, so I'm just going to do it until that is closed up. So that's about 62 pixels. And... I like that. It gives you an idea of what it's going to look like um, when you get it cut out. Okay, so I'm going to hit OK. Now, before I print this, we're going to turn off this background. Okay, just click the eye. So we have a transparent image. So we don't want it like this. We click that background, get rid of the black, and we're going to save it as a PNG. So before we even print, so we don't forget, Let's go ahead and save it as a PNG. I usually do a quick export as a PNG. And I'm going to save it in my desktop. Data files. Click it, print and cut. And I'm going to save it as YT sample. So just click that, hit save. Do I want to replace? I'm going to say yes. Okay, now I'm going to print file print. So again, we're printing before we are even taking this into the Cricut design space. File print. Okay, so I'm actually low on ink, but I wanted to get this done this weekend for you all. So uh, print settings. You just want to make sure you're printing on this correct size paper. So um, when this prints, you're probably not going to see a whole lot of pinks. Um, because you see I'm low on magenta and red and cyan. Um, we're going to get that situated. <laughs> but um, I have my stuff set for my cardstock. I set it to premium presentation paper mat sheet. I have my size of my cardstock. I'm printing on 11 by 17. Don't worry about anything borderless. We're just going to go ahead and print it and hit OK. Let's go ahead and bring the image up inside of Cricut. So I'm going to open up my Cricut. I'm going to go to new project. Okay, next. So 
what we're going to do is upload the PNG image. So we're going to click upload, upload image. So as you can see, I've already actually tried it. So click upload image. I'm going to click browse. And wherever you have it saved, that's where you want to bring it from. Hit open. Okay, I always just click um, complex. You could do simple. Um, it really doesn't matter which one you choose. Hit continue. I'm gonna hit continue. And this is the part um, you wanna make sure you pay attention because it seems counterintuitive, but um, you know, just follow along. Okay, so you would think you would click save as print and cut image, right? Well, you're not going to do that. You're going to click save as a cut image. The reason why is because we already got it printed. We got the print part out of the way. So the only thing we want to do it within Cricut Design Space, the only thing we want to do is cut. So we're going to click um, save as cut image. But I'm just going to change the name real quick and call it cut me. I want to save it as a cut image. Okay, and then hit save. Okay, and then the recently uploaded, I just uploaded this one, so I'm just going to click on it and hit insert images. Now, because you have it saved at 300 um, DPI, you want to make sure that you resize it to what you have it set for. So if you were doing an 11 by 17 cardstock, um, that's what we're doing right now, we are going to change the size. So that we're changing that to 10.5. Okay, that looks better. And so when you bring it in, you're bringing it in and resizing it down. Um, make sure you're reducing it by that half an inch. So instead of 11 by 17, you're bringing it in as a 10.5 by 16.5 and a little change. Okay, now we're gonna to go to make it. Okay, so when it was time to set my materials, I ended up choosing heavy cardstock, but <laughs> Victor, stop, that's my son. I ended up choosing heavy cardstock at 100 pounds, but it was still, it was just cutting through, so I had to up the pressure to about 330, and um, it still was giving me a little bit of trouble, so unfortunately, it's not like the silhouette where you can do a test cut, so I'm still trying to master that exact cut, but I was able to pop it out, and here it goes. These are perfect for um, centerpieces. So using this technique, you can make not only eight inch centerpieces, but 10 inch centerpieces, 12 inch. You can even go up to 16 inch. Um, no, you can go higher if you have a 24 inch um, cardstock. But yeah, grab you wooden dowels, a wooden base and put it on there. So I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you can use it. If you do, I'd love to see what you make. and. Go ahead and like and subscribe. I need some more subscribers.